Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me. Whoa, autofocus. Hello? Yeah, this is what we want. Oh, and actually, wait, sometimes it doesn't. Hey, everybody, welcome. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome to the weekly dev stream. Hello. Hope you're all having a good Tuesday. So uh, I'm having a real good time here. Um, this fucking mic. Where do I put you? You never know what to put you. Put you in your place. That's what you should be doing. All right. Anyways. Um, hey, everybody. Welcome to the weekly dev stream. Hope you're all having a fantastic. Whoops. I just mute myself. Hello. I feel like I hear him double. Hello. Maybe it's just me. Uh, I think it's just me. Yeah. <laughs> Zero versus one for microphone. We'll move it after we're stuck laying anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, like, this mic looks so, like, finicky, because it's like, it's so small. It's just like a little thing. Um, but it's it's really powerful. Anyways, welcome everybody to the weekly dev stream. Um, I am definitely hearing double on my end. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys aren't hearing double. So uh, yay me. I'm still getting used to the new layout of things. Uh, yeah, no double audio. That's what I thought. I'll, I'll figure it out later. Anyways, um, oh, maybe it's this one. Maybe it's this thing. Uh, maybe I fixed it? No, I didn't. Whatever. It, does, it's, it doesn't matter. None of this matters anyways. <laughs> Hello, everybody. No, the sound is fine for you guys. It's annoying for me because I hear myself like there's a little bit of an echo. And I think I have two audio sources running my voice somewhere. And I don't know what I changed. But anyways, welcome to the weekly dev stream. Um, where this like last couple of dev streams have been a little bit weird, like special. Because uh, I'm sort of half figuring out the new formula format which is not a new format because i do want to go back to the old format at some point uh i just it's fun to do something else it's also fun to just mix it up a little bit so that's what we're doing um one thing i forgot to check before i started the stream is one new thing we're doing with the stream apart from playing the game obviously is that we have we're using slido to like uh, collect questions that you guys have because I found that when I was playing the game um, I was uh, very distracted by the game and I felt like we weren't really talking about the game uh, enough as like the point of the stream is you guys get an opportunity to ask us questions and we can talk about certain topics or not even questions if you want to talk me want me to talk about something specifically we can do that too um, <clears throat> so so having that at the background in the background has been amazing and it's also nice because you guys can also vote on questions that you think are important or, or like topics that you want me to discuss. So I see there's a huge win. Um, so, so we're going to keep doing that and it's, and it's up now. So if you do exclamation mark AMA, uh, you'll get a link to the Slido. And it's, un like, it's anonymous. That's also another positive thing because I think there was a couple of people that uh, wanted to ask questions, but they didn't want to be in chat. So like this is also optionally, you know, anonymous. Please don't abuse this. <laughs> Um, and, uh, yeah, or put your name there if your Twitch channel or whatever, if you want to, me to see your name, but pretty nice, pretty nice. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> that's pretty much what we're going to do today. We're going to keep playing and, uh, hopefully we will set up coal power today, which is very exciting. I know there's a lot of people that get stuck on coal power, uh, when playing our game. So, so maybe I, I'm pretty sure that most people that tune in to these streams are quite into the game. So I don't think anybody needs to learn like how to play it. But um, if there are people that have never played the game and are curious, maybe we should have streamed this on our Steam page as well. I don't know. Anyways, so, so you get, guys get the chance to see and learn from the best. Okay? So anyway, I need to actually figure out why I'm hearing double. Because it is driving me nuts. 
Um, and it's really strange because it's really strange. <laughs> I'm not sure why that is happening at all because I haven't changed anything since last time except for one tiny thing and it shouldn't be because of that. Pretty confident it's not because. Nope, it's not. Just checked. Okay, weird. Maybe this was always the case. Maybe I've always heard this like feedback. Um, yeah, because if I mute my mic, I don't hear it, but I also don't hear myself anymore. So maybe I should just do that. But I don't think, it's so strange. Or maybe it's always been like this and I just haven't noticed. <sighs> Anyways, um, do you even need head earphones? I need it for, for gameplay. I want to hear the game. I want to hear the audio from the game. I want to hear the power shutdown sound, you know? It's very important to me. Um, before we dive into talk, before we dive into playing the game, I actually want to do a real quick state of dev. Where is my thing? There it is. So let me update that. Boop. Um, just for if people, we're, and we're, we're probably going to do the same thing we did last time. We're like, I, I'll do this again at four. So we'll get a rerun of state of dev for people that may or may not have tuned in then, or maybe we'll do it at the end of the stream. Mm, we'll see. But I'll probably reiterate this information at some point anyways. But uh, we have posted, we, I posted a video two weeks ago, which uh, that video is still like up to date in terms of long term, what we're planning to do. I guess some things have happened since then, mainly that we posted more patches on experimental that we wanted to uh, because we kept messing up. <laughs> we kept, uh, uh, the main reason why we, we kept making patches was because we were blocking for people playing the game. And that was not something we planned to do. We planned to just post like one or two patches and then focus on finishing the stuff that we have on like our main branch for up to date. So we can get that out as soon as possible on the stable branch. Um, love the Confury shirt, by the way. Dope. Uh, hope you play the game because I worked on that. Um, so, so yeah, briefly what happened was that when we pushed the update on Experimental, uh, we broke dedicated servers on Linux. Uh, first, we broke them because of Steam's like backend merging thingy. Cause like when, when, we make, when we make our builds, it's a nightmare, by the way, it's a huge, like we have a person dedicated just to, to, to like maintain our build server that we use to like just package the build and, and build the game. Um, <clears throat> So what happened was when we uploaded the builds, they all have like a version, right? Like the, the latest version we're on right now is, is, and the way, by the way, we have two versions, which is also a little bit confusing. One of them is an actual like public version that we use to communicate. Like this is a, this is a version of the game, right? The other one is a change list. And the change list is essentially whenever we make a commit uh, to the game, um, that commit get like a stamp essentially. So, so and then, when we build, we take the latest commit that's on, and that's essentially what we're building for. And that build gets that stamp. Uh, and that's called a change list. And we also display this in the corner of the game because we want to be able to track, like in our version control system, like when we look at people playing a game, we want to be able to look at the game and be like, oh, this is that build. So we're not like confused as to like what's going on if we see a bug and we're like, but we fixed this. We actually sometimes did fix it. We just didn't realize what build people were playing on. So that's why we display that in the corner. Um, so the change list that's currently live and experimental should be 247884. Uh, what happened was when we uploaded the first build was that uh, we need to have all, all builds need to have the same version, right? So they all need to match. And when we uploaded the dedicated server build for Linux specifically, it was the correct build but the Steam server didn't merge, or like the backend handle didn't merge the build for the correct change lists to give us the right version of it. So people were getting version mismatched. Um, and the only way to get around that was to make another build. Like, even though it was the same version, we had to make a new build. Same change list, different build. It's also confusing because we also track that, but. Ignore that for now, okay? Uh, <laughs> so we actually didn't change anything in that build. We just uploaded, made it, built it again and uploaded it. But when we did that, we realized that there was some like blocker with 
uh, some module was loaded on dedicated servers that wasn't supposed to be loaded. Loaded, And that when we fixed that, we also realized there was a couple of other issues. And we didn't catch these issues because we didn't um, fully test dedicated servers on Linux. We test dedicated servers on Windows, but we only have so much time and we do these like smokescreen testing, you know? So like we didn't have time to fix this. Um, so that kind of made us realize we should probably automate that step. Um, so I believe we have taken action to to uh, to be able to automate that aspect of build of the build. So whenever we make a build, we will get like a smoke test running automatically on dedicated servers for Linux specifically, because we are testing it on dedicated servers for Windows, but just we didn't automate testing for dedicated servers for Linux. <sighs> and you guys want us to make console versions? Holy shit! Um, anyways. When we fixed that, there was other issues with the signs, so we're like, ah, shit. Um, and uh, we fixed that, and it caused blockers. I believe right now we have a build that's supposedly going to fix the last issue with dedicated servers uh, for signs, specifically. These are crashes some people are having for signs. Um, should TM fix that? Um, but here's the thing. If it doesn't, uh, we might need to just be like, Tough luck because we need to focus on like that, the stable version, stabilizing the version that we want to put out for, for, with like the 5.2 update and all that shit. Because um, we have two, two things running at the same time right now. We're working on the stabilizing the build for update eight, which is the 5.2 branch and like the engine, blah, blah, blah. Watch the video. <laughs> no, don't watch the video. I'm trying to summarize it here. God, I'm so bad at my job. Holy shit, what am I doing here? Uh, we're working on two separate things. We have the experimental patches that have gone out. That's been like a little sidetrack for us. We we're just like patching up small things and that's a separate thing. And then we're working on stabilizing update eight where we updated to 5.2, Unreal Engine 5.2. We're also merging in a, an update to a system that we've refactored. Uh, doesn't really add anything new to the game, but we just needed to get that system in for us to keep working on the game further down the line. Uh, I'll probably talk a little bit about that in this week's video. I'm I'm going to summarize that in this week's video because I am planning to make a video this week um, where I'm a little bit more prepared. <laughs> um, so we want to focus on that build and that build is going to take a little bit longer because we need to stabilize it and blah, blah, blah. So we don't want to spend too much time on those like patches, the hot fixing that we're doing experimental. But we've been a little bit like sidetracked because of the issues that we've uh, run up to when when we were pushing this build um, so yeah TLDR is that we have posted a bunch of hotfixes on experimental right now and there's one more coming but I think that last one is going to be the last one for quite some time we need to go radio silent again to focus on stabilizing like the actual build that's going to be up to date uh, the actual version of it uh, which will contain more bug fixes couple of more like uh yeah then update to the engine uh, a couple of more like features i think with uh, regards to like uh xcss the upscaling stuff i believe we also plan to do fsr in in that version uh don't know if we're doing fsr 3 uh i am not quite sure how that works because when we started doing this fsr 3 was not a thing dlss 3.5 didn't exist and xcss uh, made an update to their upscaling thing like the day after we posted that. So a lot of stuff moving in the upscaling algorithm department of game dev apparently, and they happen to happen exactly after we made that patch. Um, so good times. <clears throat> so those will come further down the line. Uh, for now, so so we need yeah we need to focus on that new build essentially. Cool. <laughs> Need orcs, that's true. Um, did I forget something else? That that's, that's pretty much the state of things right now. We're like in knee deep in that thing. Um, and I think I'll be able to give a better update on Friday in the video that's coming out this week, hopefully. Knock on wood. Um, where you'll know more, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> Uh, the 5.2 upgrade is, is going as expected. Um, some stuff broke, which was expected. But um, that's the thing, right? We haven't been able to like 
focus as much on that because of the patching issues that we've had on on experimental the last week or two and the the intention was to just make one or two hot fixes on experimental but we're up on like five now i think um so yeah that's that's how things are at the moment i don't think i think i've covered everything right now that i wanted to talk about in this state of dev um so not too much has happened since last time we spoke but some things some things have happened so uh so yeah uh anything else how how are you guys <laughs> you guys eating all right you guys staying hydrated whatever or don't who cares everyone always tells everyone to stay hydrated i i i never stay hydrated and i don't have any issues i don't know what, I don't know what the fuck going on. Um, but I, I think I'll, I think I'll mention this though real quick uh, because something that we've seen across the board is that people have seen a lot of uh, performance improvements, uh, which is quite nice. It, it's very rare that we get an opportunity to to push a patch that solves like so many things at once when it comes to performance. Because if you look at the game like back back when in terms of what you can do and what you can do now and blah, blah, blah. And you compare the performance. I mean, we have the data, so we see it, but you guys, you don't really see it when you're just playing the game. Like if you compare the build how it was before and now, like the game is significantly more performance. And um, and it's, it's, it's nice to like actually see that happening on an update like that, where you actually see the performance. Cause you guys don't see like the incremental improvements like for instance how many of you have noticed that the save time has drastically reduced since in update 8 specifically uh i think uh, i think the patch before summer vacation uh because we've we made a lot of strides on that but i don't think anybody commented on that online that like oh save saving actually is is a bit shorter now uh i don't know the specific numbers but i just know it's it's a drastic difference but since it's not like um huge like since you're still seeing the stutter it's still not good enough right so it's it's uh yes so it's nice to actually like get the response it's, it's nice it's nice for us let let us have this okay and I, I think i joked about this last week too but like we maybe we should just in the future whenever we put out updates we should add like a bunch of uh like thread locking <laughs> so that we can be like oh this seems to be an issue with the game and then we remove that in the next patch and be like we fixed it and then people are like oh my god it's so much better and i'm like heck yeah it is because we're so good at our job what i gotta tell you what can i gotta tell you man um <laughs> so yeah 